Hey there, this is your feature interview on Emory & Henry Reports again. My name is Darren Vaught and as promised, an alumnus of Emory & Henry College that works now currently in the admissions department, Lori Bruce Cutshaw. Lori, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate being here and thank you for asking me. Yeah, no problem at all. And uh, you work in the admissions office. There are a lot of you guys over there, I believe four alumni in the office alone. Uh, mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys do on a day-to-day -day basis? We've actually got five alumni. Uh, there are four of us that are recent grads and then Mary Bolt, our assistant director, is actually a 79 grad. So a lot of people are over there that are very excited about the college, excited about telling other students, you know, coming to visit about the school. Day-to-day, um, -day, it's really cool because the whole year for us is kind of broken up from August to November. I'm on the road. I think I stayed at home maybe five nights um, from August to November on the weekends. Um, just recruiting, doing college fairs, um, a lot like you probably went to when you were a senior in high school, um, either at your high school or a nightly county fair. Um, I mainly deal with Central Virginia, where I'm from, the Lynchburg area, all the way to Suffolk near Virginia Beach. And then I've got Georgia, Florida, Texas. So. Um, a lot of times, you know, I'm just gone all week, you know, three, four fairs a day, talking to hundreds of kids a day about the school, people who have never heard of it, and then by the time they walk away, you know, we've got a visit set up. So it all, um, it's pretty exciting. And then once that's over, we kind of come back in November, um, get the applications ready to go, start looking at those, um, facilitating visits. Um, I think yesterday we had seven people on campus doing individual tours with professors, um, meetings with them, classes, meetings with students and athletics. And so it's all about us getting them to the right person to talk to about their interests um, and just facilitating that. And then the spring comes and we do um, a lot of the preview days. We've got scholarship day coming up, which is a big recruiting day for us. Um, and then, you know, kind of tie it all up May, June. Uh, we are rolling admissions and so we still accept people in the summer and get them here before August and then we start all over again. So it's kind of cool because every day um, you never know who's coming, where they're coming from, what they want to do. And then by the time you kind of get sick of being in the office um, right. at a desk all day, it's time to go back out on the road. And so we, we put some miles in the college cars, that's for sure. So. Uh, well you, you said you talked to kids uh, or high school high mm -hmm. school students, prospective Emory and Henry or co collegiate students uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. What do you tell them about Emory and Henry College? What do you think are the, the selling points uh, from an admissions, uh, hey, I work in the admissions office standpoint? A lot of times they want um, a really personalized experience, and that's what we give them through every process that they come through here from the admissions process where they have a one-on-one -on -one tour with a student and then a one-on-one -on -one interview with a counselor um, to one-on-one -on -one meetings with professors. They really like the personalization and so we really tout um, that you're not just a number here, you're a big part of the community from the second you get here. You can get involved in as many things as you want to get involved in um, and take an active leadership role really early on. A lot of colleges make students wait until their sophomore or junior year to get involved in whatever they want. So here um, we tell them they can hit the ground running. Also we talk a lot about our faculty. We're very proud of them. Um, I know when I was here, a lot of the faculty made a big difference in my personal life, career, um, networking, and things like that. And so we definitely talk about the relationships between the students, professors, how President Riker has students over at her house for dinner their first year, um, how professors will invite students over their house, and just things like that. So uh, they're very interested in the personalization of the process. And then when they visit other schools where they're on tour with 20 people, um, or they can't get a meeting with the professor, they give us a call back and say, hey, that was something different and we really appreciate it. So, so you mentioned this scholarship day and as uh, we mm -hmm. were talking before we came on set, uh, it, it's more of a, a narrowed down version of the overall admissions process. Just talk about scholarship day. Well, we've got some endowed um, scholarships for the art, theater, music department, pre-health, pre-ministry, our honors program, um, and then now we're actually adding in a Bonner interview as well. So students who are interested in majoring in those activities um, or in those departments and being involved in the theater or art program, they can actually come and interview or audition for those additional scholarships. So students who are coming for theater or music have to prepare a monologue, some songs to perform in front of the faculty, and then they're awarded additional scholarships based on their talent and their merit, um, pre-health, pre-ministry honors. It's an interview with a faculty panel and a current student. 
um, in that program. And it's, it's a really neat day because right now we have about 260 students coming or that they're invited. I don't know how many are going to RSVP back. We're hoping a lot of those. Um, but they'll be on campus all day. It's the cream of the crop. Um, about a third of our faculty are actually involved in that day. So meeting that amount of faculty as a high school senior, you don't get that at a lot of places. And so it's the Emory and Henry experience is a lot different than any other admissions experience that I've seen in the past two years in working in this department. Yeah. Well, you've mentioned uh, the faculty and the professors mm -hmm. here at Emory and Henry a few times and the, the recent accolades being received. Right. Does, does that help this process? Uh, does it seem that more prospective students are, are interested in Emory and Henry College because of these things? The parents are um, and a lot of times the admissions process getting past the parents is the first step and then actually getting the student interested is the second step. Um, the accolades are a big help. Um, you know we're a small private liberal arts college in Southwest Virginia. A lot of people our name recognition is not really out there for you know New England um, for you know Deep South and the West Coast and now with these accolades we're getting students from California, from Seattle, from New England, and we've never had that before really at this um, amount. And so we, you know, kind of attribute it to the faculty accolades. Also, we're in the book Colleges That Change Lives by Lauren Pope. We're one of the 40 schools in that book. Well, um, only two schools in Virginia are listed, and we're, you know, half of that. And so that really helps with name recognition as well. The, the Colleges That Change Lives actually do a tour um, of all major cities in the country. Um, just those 40 schools get out there and can talk to students. So it's a big help, and it's a lot, um, it does a lot for our recruitment. It makes my job a lot easier. So. So, Lori, we mentioned that you graduated from mm -hmm. Emory and Henry College. Uh, let's take off the I work in the admissions office cap for okay. just a moment. Yeah. Uh, from a personal aspect, what would you tell someone one-on-one -on -one, uh, was, was the difference maker for you here at e &H? Well, I was an English education major, um, and so I was really into the education department, but I also was really involved in student government and the white topper. And at a lot of schools, if you're an education major, you know, you're not really being asked to write for the school newspaper. You're not being asked... Um, to be on student government normally at other schools I thought you had to be poli-sci, you had to be pre-law and so to be an education major and get to be involved in all these things um, that I didn't necessarily major in but could still be involved in that was huge for me. Um, I was used to being a leader in high school and kind of wanted that experience in college as well. So, so Lori I want to I want to mention one last thing yeah. uh, you actually met your husband Kyle Cutshaw yeah. who also works at Emory and Henry mm -hmm. College uh, here as, as he graduated from the school as well. Uh, how did that come about? We hated each other. Um, it, we were both intramural officials, like I said. Um, I didn't play college athlete, uh, athletics, but I was interested in it, so I uh, refereed for the intramural program for all four years, and he refereed, and we would argue about missed calls, and you didn't throw the flag when you were supposed to, and that kind of just evolved. Um, so I actually went home and taught um, high school English for two years and then moved back. We actually live here on campus so we're very much part of the community and really like being here. Um, you know it's I just can't think of any other person that has this kind of story. They can you know go to a school, come back, talk about the place that they love all day and just show people around and hopefully you know get them passionate about the school as well. So it's really cool. Well, great. Lori, we appreciate your work in the admissions office, thank and uh, we thank you again for coming on with us awesome. today. Awesome. Thank you so much. Now we're going to send it to Brent Tree. She's got this week's Out and About.